And as you know, another snowstorm has become routine this winter as we close in on Indy's all-time snowfall record. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet is live outside our Monument Circle studio with how people took advantage of the break in the weather today to get ready for tomorrow. Chris? Yeah, Drew, this is sort of the calm before the storm. People doing their thing tonight, enjoying an evening out. That doesn't mean that people weren't preparing for the storm throughout the day today. They were at grocery stores and soaking up a little break in the weather before it all starts over again. After dumping flooding rains on California, the giant storm brought heavy snow to the Rockies as it marches east toward the Midwest. Ahead of the storm, the winter weary made a familiar trip to stock up at grocery stores just in case. Today has been chaos, but we're, we're working on everything, trying to keep everything stocked up, and we're just trying to maintain our levels. That's all we can do. Also preparing for several inches of snow and possibly freezing rain are city and state snowplow drivers. According to the Department of Public Works, this winter has been a budget buster, costing $13 million, including more than 109,000 labor hours. A miserable winter that won't go away. It has been a long, cold winter, but not today. Temperatures in the upper 40s, and here on the Monon in Broad Ripple, it's now 44 degrees, bringing out a lot of joggers, walkers, and bikers who know that the next storm is coming, and soon. Mary Duenas Hewlett and her husband Don took advantage of Saturday's break from the cold before Sunday's storm. I really feel bad about it. That means I won't go outside, have to walk at the mall, which I usually do when the weather is not good. It reminds me back in 78 and also uh, 83 when we had all the snow, and I think 78 probably was the worst. But the worst is yet to come, and it's almost a sure bet. Another six inches of snow will set an all-time record for the city. And that all-time record was set in 1981-82 when we had 58.2 inches of snow. We're now six inches shy, and with a forecast like that, we could be setting that record tomorrow. Reporting live downtown on Monument Circle, Chris Profit, RTV6. Thanks, Chris. And as you would expect, shoppers say they're very tired of this winter weather. Grocery stores around central Indiana just jam-packed today. Hoosiers tell us they're stocking up once again in case they're snowed in. For merchants, it's a good thing since they had plenty of warning. We had like 48 hours notice, and all you know, stock and trucks was on time. So we're just trying to keep ahead because they gave us enough notice. Home improvement stores stay, say that the winter weather is not helping them. They have a low supply of salt and shovels. At this point, they're ready to start selling lawn and garden merchandise. Tomorrow, we've got you covered right here on RTV6 as we expand our Storm Team 6 coverage. We'll begin the day with Good Morning Indiana starting at 6 a.m. Then, a special edition of RTV6 at noon, followed by RTV6 News at 6 and then 11 o'clock. And don't forget, you can get the latest Storm Team 6 updates and forecasts sent right to your phone through the Storm Shield app. Download it on iTunes, Google Play, or check out the links online at our website, theindychannel.com.